This tutorial guides you through the main points of the startup wizard in the Motion Studio. You should have it prepared according to the tutorial Motion Studio Getting Started. Here, we focus on the basic setting of an SCON2 controller for a brushless EC motor with hall sensors and encoder feedback for speed control. Right mouse click on SCON2 displays the possible tasks. Select Startup in Configuration. Prompt the read this first by activating the checkbox and pressing Next. For a brushless motor, select Maxon EC motor. Specify the nominal current and the thermal time constant of the winding of the motor. These two parameters are required to protect the motor from overheating. In my case, the nominal current is 2660 milliamp and the thermal time constant is 2.8 seconds. Define also the number of pole pairs of the motor, which is one in my motor. You can find all these values in the specification of your motor. Observe that the number of pole pairs of your motor has an influence on the maximum possible motor speed. Define the maximum permitted or possible speed in your application. This limit may stem from the motor or from any other device, for instance, from the gearhead input speed or for some mechanical restriction, or also from the application itself that you never want to run faster. The maximum speed may also be limited by the supply voltage and the speed constant of your motor. Let me limit this velocity here to 6000 RPM. Press Next to get to the sensor specification. We have digital hall sensors and a digital incremental encoder on the motor shaft. Define the resolution of your encoder in pulses or counts per revolution. Again, the value can be found in the corresponding encoder specification, and it's a pre-quadrature value. Hence, the actual resolution is four times higher. Press Next. We keep the control loop structure. The basic setting shows an internal PI current control loop and an external main speed control loop using encoder feedback. For the can open cyclic synchronous torque mode, CST, we would have to set both velocity and main sensor to none. Pressing next shows that the commutation is always sinusoidal based on hall sensor and encoder feedback. By the way, brushless motors can also be operated with hall sensor feedback only. It is without encoder. Let me show you what would change in the basic setting in such a case. We jump back to the sensor definition and remove the encoder. The regulation must then be based on hall sensor feedback as well as the commutation. Press Next. But there is usually nothing to be changed in the units section. So press next again. Here you can define generally applicable limits. For instance, I want to limit the maximum current for my motor to three times nominal or about 8,000 milliamps. Reasonable maximum acceleration values for motors without load lie in the range of 10,000 to 100,000 RPM per second. The factory setting is unreasonably high. I set uh, 50,000 RPM per second as a limit. Uh, as you can see, the maximum profile velocity is set to the previously specified value and you cannot enter a higher profile velocity. Usually, there is no need to change temperature and voltage limitations. Press Next. Default acceleration and deceleration values for motion profiles are set to 10,000 RPM per second. When commanding new velocity values, the motor will speed up or down with these ramps. Again, it would not be able to set a higher ramp than previously specified in the limit section. 
for digital and analog input and output configuration, refer to a separate tutorial. And at the end, don't forget to press the Finish button to store your settings in the SCON2 controller. The next step after configuration is regulation tuning, again with a separate tutorial. And for the wiring, refer to the hardware reference document of your specific SCON2. That's it. The basic configuration of the SCON2 controller for a brushless EC motor with hall sensors and encoder feedback.